Hello folks and welcome to a new bespoke synth tutorial. Today I want to talk about morphing between control values. We know that control values are generated by modulators. So let's say that we have an LFO and we want to morph between this simple sine wave to a sort of double spike uh, waveform like this. We could, of course, enable and disable uh, the first one and the second one and vice versa. But this is not and do it in at the same time. But it's not a morphing, it's more a switch in on and off state. So to create a morphing, we can use a module called snapshots. And what it does, it essentially allows you to create presets. So let's say that this simple waveform is our first preset. We can save and store this preset inside one of these cells. Before doing so, we need to ask ourselves, do I want to control the entire module or do I want to control just a single parameter? If I want to control the entire module, I need to take this gray cable and send it to the LFO in my example or your target module. If I simply want to control one parameter like the frequency rate, I simply need to use this purple cable. Now let's um, make an example where we want to control the entire LFO. So we use the gray cable. We start with this simple sine wave. So we press shift and click on one of the three cells here. Down here, we can rename this preset. Let's call it sine. And on top, we can see that inside this drop down menu where we have a lot of indexes that indicates the number, the index of each cell, we have the first one that is named sine. Great. Now I can tweak a few parameters. This double spike waveform is our second preset. So once again, shift and click on a new and free cell. Now we can switch by using a simple mouse click between the uh, actual double spike waveform and the sine wave. We have no blending, but if we turn on the blend value that is in milliseconds, so let's say that we want a blend time of a second, we can morph between these two presets. If we make the snapshot module bigger, we can see that we have as many presets, we can store as many presets as we want. And we also have some extra features like uh, the automatic store. So let's say that I make a few changes. And if my store checkbox is turned on, I can simply use a mouse click to store a new preset. Same thing for delete. If I want to delete a module, a preset, sorry, I need to turn on the delete option. And with a simple mouse click, I can delete my preset. I can also use auto store on switch. So every time I switch between preset, um, it saves the actual preset. I can clear the entire snapshot module using this clear button. And I can randomize my target module using this random option. And this is really interesting because we have different sets of values and once we find the one that fits best our needs our purpose we can save it and here we have it now we can change uh, randomization save once again if you want to change just a single value as i said at the beginning of this video you can use the purple pin let's say that we want to change the frequency rate. So let's set the free method frequency rate. Here we have 0 0.85. We save it, then much faster pace. As you can see, we're affecting just one parameter. And 
let's move to the first preset. If I change the low and high and I save it, then I move to the second one and I change the low and high once again and I, and I override my preset, it won't remember the previous low and high parameters because uh, now snapshot it's focusing only on the frequency rate. That was all for today's tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if this video was useful for you, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to support my channel. If you have ideas about how to morph between values and or you simply want to uh, let me know how do you morph and create blending between control values in bespoke, feel free to drop a line in the comment section down below. As always, thank you for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.